Frangipan is a classic French dessert, and we're going to show you a great British twist on it. A fantastic frangipan. A fantastic frangipan indeed, made with sugar, butter, flour, and eggs, and of course the ground almonds. That's yep. what makes it frangipan. And we're going to put fresh plums on the top of that. Wow. Okay. So to start with, some butter. If you want to put that into the microwave, we just need to melt it down. And this recipe is so easy, everything else just gets thrown in together. So until it's melted, about a minute. And then all the other ingredients, sugar into the bowl, two eggs cracked into the bowl, yolk all easy. Everything. Yolk and white, absolutely. And give that a good whisk up. And as soon as it's smooth, you don't have to worry about too much air or anything, we're going to put in our flour. You can hear our butter spitting away means that's melted. We add in our ground almonds or almond flour. And that's what really makes it a frangipan, isn't it? It's that nuttiness, almondy kind of almost, not quite as strong as marzipan, but a subtle yeah. kind of almondy flavour. And then our melted butter goes in there as well. How easy is that as a cake mix? Super While you're finishing that off, I'm going to do some plums. Cut all the way around and then just mm. twist it and it comes off like that. And then around the stone again and that stone should just pop out nice and easy. And that's how easy it is to stone plums. What's left, we can slice into nice pieces for the top of our frangipan. And could we use any other fruit? Yes. Once you've got this, a, a nice apple frangipan, plum frangipan, a pear frangipan, you can put anything you like into it. When I say into it, we're going to put it on it. Okay, so Ooh. just put a mixture between those two. Now these are uh, already sort of non-stick and again, loose bottom. But if not, just line anything with a bit of greaseproof paper. That'll be absolutely fine. You also make small individual ones that are great for afternoon tea or something like that, or even a petty four after dinner, very, very small ones. And because of the self-raising flour, they'll rise up quite a bit anyway. And then comes the arty bit, and we make this as neat as possible, and we just want to do a little fan around the outside. Right. So plenty of fruit, and the frangipan will kind of grow up and, and rise around the plums. Oh, it's going to grow up. Oh. I wish you'd grow up sometimes. <laughs> So there we go, we saw how easy it was to throw together the sponge mix and then the fruit on top. Jamie, if you can put that into the oven, yep. 180 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes, nice and golden on top, risen, and then we'll let them cool. Now the frangipans have had time to cool down. Okay, you can see that there, all we've done is loosen around the edges and then all we need to do, because it's got that loose bottom, we can just pop it out, ease it out like that, okay? You've still got the little bit of metal on the bottom. And the thing with the frangipan is they're so soft sponge that you can just take the whole thing off like so. Things in the way. Back onto there. And there we go, our second one as well. Amazing. There we have it, our English plums in a French frangipan, sorted. While oh, they're still warm, let's eat have it. a little bit of that. Look at that, oh, try fantastic. some of that. Soft and fluffy and light. Well, I could be nice and dainty, but I'm just gonna. I've never known you to be nice and dainty. Mm. That's amazing. Really moist cake. All the juices from the plum leak mm -hmm. into that sponge, and the almonds are awesome. 